Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about the effect of structure on asset-based properties. The factors affecting asset strength are bond polarity, bond strength, electronegativity. And basically there are two types of assets we'll be talking about. One will be the binary asset HX and the other one will be the oxy acid as represented by HOX. Let's focus on the binary acid first. Now, when we compare the acid strength across the period, we're looking for bond polarity. For the HX to be acidic, the bond must be polarized with the hydrogen atom being the positive pole so that it can be donated as H plus ion. When we go across the period two, the hydrides become increasingly acidic because the HX bond becomes increasingly polar. For example, if we take the first element in the period two of the periodic table lithium, the lithium hydride. Now, the negative end is on the H while the positive end is on the Li, so such H is not the acidic proton, the bond is ionic, and the substance itself is not acidic. If we then look at the carbon bonded with the H, such as in methane, the electronegativities of C and H are very similar. Again, there's no acidic proton, therefore it is not acidic. Finally, when we end up with the hydrogen fluoride, we can definitely see that the bond is polar, the delta positive is on the H, and the delta negative on the F. It means it's easier for the hydrogen ion to be lost and then the molecule is acidic. Remember, when we compare across the period, we are looking at bond polarity. Now, when we compare down a family group, we are looking at bond strength. Look at the bond energy of HF, HCl, HBr, and HI. It is uh, the strongest in HF and then it goes down in a decreasing order. The Coulombic force of attraction is inversely proportional to the distance between two atomic nuclei, that is the hydrogen and the halogen. When the size of the halogen atom increases, the electrostatic attraction to the hydrogen positive ion reduces, therefore the bond strength will decrease. And HF is a weak acid because it has the strongest bond. The more tightly the hydrogen atom is held by the F atom, the less likely it is to be released, making HF a weak acid. So again, remember, when we compare down a family group, we are looking at bond strength. The stronger the bond strength, the weaker the acid, and the smaller the bond strength, the stronger the acid. The next category will be the oxy acid, HOX. Now, they have Look at uh, a bunch of them with similar structure. Let's look at HOI, HOBR, HOCl. And the electronegativity on the I atom is 2.5, on bromine is 2.8, on chlorine is 3.0. But remember, we have two electronegative atoms side by side. The O is also very electronegative. When we look at the Ka value, we find that it is increasing to the right. HOCl being the strongest acid in that group. As the electronegativity of the N atom, meaning the halogen atom, increases, electrons are now pulled more effectively away from the OH bond. Now the OH bond is polarized and weakened, and that increases the ease with which the hydrogen ion can be released. And more readily, the hydrogen ion is released the stronger is the acid, therefore making HOCl the strongest acid in the group. So this is basically determined by electronegativity on the halogen atom. If we look at the next group, uh, we have the hypochlorous acid, HOCl, chlorous acid, HOCl, HClO2, the chloric acid, HClO3, and the perchloric acid, HClO4. Now when we draw the Lewis dot structure, please pay attention that the H, the acidic proton, must be bonded directly to the O atom. Now as you look at the numbers, when we go across to the right, 
is becoming stronger and stronger acid. This is because the number of electronegative oxygen atoms increases. The withdrawal of the electron density away from the OH bond would also increase. The OH bond is now weakened and polarized, making it easier to break the bond to donate the hydrogen ion and thereby increasing the acid strength. So try, let's try practice problem number one. Arrange the following binary compound in order of increasing acid strength and explain your choice. Here we have H2TE hydrogen telluride or hydrotelluric acid, hydroiodic acid, hydrosulfuric acid, and sodium hydride. Now, sodium hydride is ionic. The H has a, carries a negative charge, so there's no H plus released. It is non-acidic. When we look at hydrosulfuric acid, H2S, it has stronger bond energy than H2TE. Therefore, the H2S is a weaker acid than H2TE. And finally, when we look at the HI, the bond is more polar than H2H-TE. So the HI is a stronger acid than the H2TE. Therefore, the ranking would be the strongest is hydroiodic acid HI, followed by H2TE, followed by H2S, followed by NAH. And remember, when we compare across, we're looking at the uh, bond polarity. And when we're comparing downward in a family group, we are looking at bond energy for comparison of acid strength. Try practice problem number two. Here we have uh, phosphorus acid, phosphoric acid, and arsenic acid. Now, when we compare the acid strength, we look at phosphoric acid and the arsenic acid. They all have one more oxygen atom than the H3PO3. That means they have a greater ele electron density withdrawal effect to weaken the OH bond. Therefore, the H plus ion is released more readily in H3PO4 and H3ASO4. Now, therefore, making the two of them stronger acid than the H3PO3. With regard to the phosphorus atom and the arsenic atom. Phosphorus atom is more electronegative than arsenic. It has a greater pull on the electron to donate hydrogen ion. So H3PO4 is stronger acid than H3ASO4. Therefore, the ranking is the strongest is phosphoric acid H3PO4, followed by the arsenic acid H3ASO4, followed by the phosphorus acid H3PO3. We're ranking them by the order of the number of oxygen atoms and also the electronegativity. Now let's look at uh, how does the acid act on the environment. We can think of acid rain. Acid rain is formed by sulfur dioxide gas. It is from the combustion of fossil fuel and also from NO2 gas, which is from the car exhaust. They are air pollutants. And then we react with water to form acid rain, such as sulfuric acid and nitric acid. So the harmful effects of acid rain on the environment is that it can corrode structures, it can damage aquatic life and crops and forests. To sum up what we have learned today, we have learned how molecular structures would affect, affect acid strength. For binary acids, the acid strength decreases with increasing bond energy down a group. Acid strength increases with increasing bond polarity across a period. When we look at oxy acids, the acid strength increases with electronegativity of the atom bonded to the oxygen atom. And finally, acid strength increases with the number of oxygen atoms in the molecule. I hope that you have found the video helpful. From the team of MLCA, we'd like to thank you for watching our video. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.